so this is an electric car. On Samsung, we produce much more electricity than we consume all from the wind, wind turbines. They produce, on a yearly basis, they produce a lot more than we consume on a yearly basis on Samsung. So we can charge an electric car and still say it's 100% renewable. Samsung, the renewable energy island of Denmark, is a project that aims to be 100% self-supplied by renewables in just 10 years by the use of proven technology, which is technology that's already out there, you can buy it, like wind, wind turbines, biomass, uh, stoves, uh, solar energy, and all these sort of things. I'm the director of the Samsung Energy Academy, which is a very nice building you can see here in the background. I was born here and raised here, and then I was employed by this Energy Island project. The Energy Academy is today what we call an energy meeting house, where people meet for all kinds of reasons, just because they're curious or because they are politicians and they need to make a new policy where they come from. Or it can also be business people who say, maybe green development is green business, so we need to look into this. So, I mean, in the beginning it was just kind of a vision. Today it's, it's a business potential and from like four or five people working here, today we are 11 people working at the Energy Academy and we consider ourselves as being quite successful actually. So we're driving now to the district heating and to a small, one of the wind turbines so you can actually physically see what we have been doing here. Here we are at the district heating. We have four district heating plants on Samsung supplying about 60% of all heating. It's, it's all produced from uh, biomass. We buy the straw from the farms when they have done the harvesting. We buy the surplus production, which is straw, which replaces quite a lot of oil. One of these bales is about 600 kilo, and it's the same as 200 liters of oil, so it's a lot of energy. So a very important part of the energy project is wind power. Wind in general in, in Denmark is, is a very big asset because there's so much wind here. We are in a windy area, and the wind turbines will do, do the job. And they're very productive, these wind turbines, and they supply all the electricity we need on a yearly basis. When we produce too much, we export it to the mainland, so we are part of the Danish CO2 emission uh, countdown, where we try to avoid as much CO2 as possible. Every time we have people here, we try to sign a document, and, and some of the documents are not documents like what, what people expect them to be, but small statements like these, small, kind of small quotes, the global freedom fighter here is uh, the present uh, Minister of, of Climate and Energy, uh, Ms. Lykke Fries, who, who was here recently. And she made this global freedom fighters because I think she felt the spirit of the Energy Academy kind of, uh, and felt inspired to, think, uh, to write things like this. The project is for people and not only for scientists and researchers and people who are nerdy about uh, what we're talking about here. We try to, to focus on ownership, on participation, on general responsibility for the individual citizen and make him or her aware of what they can do and what they should do uh, according to sustainability. So this is what, what it's all about, the meeting and the exchange of know-how. Energy production is, is pretty physical, very hard. Maybe in the future we can convert, for example, wind power, electricity to hydrogen and then use the hydrogen in a fuel cell and run a truck or run a car by, by hydrogen. So the future might be a little bit more easy and comfortable compared to the physical effort of the bicycle. The Energy Academy is, is, is also a working place for 11 people and we work with many different issues. So we have teaching, we have public advice in house building, we have uh, report writing and we have accountants and we have EU projects and we have uh, engineering and all sort of things that we take on as, as consultancy jobs and, uh, and you could say campaign projects also. We also here, we develop the new next phase of the Energy Island project. We ask the local citizens here to participate, to invest in the project and to be the owners of the development. The ambition is also to be the exhibition window of Denmark to prove that this is this is physical, this is uh, practical, and this can be done, and we can do it in Denmark, and then we can demonstrate for the rest of the world that it's possible.